Welcome to our channel. In a dramatic turn of events on General Hospital for Friday, August 9th, Michael Corinthos found himself juggling work and personal tensions. At the Metro Court, Michael had a productive lunch meeting with Nina Reeves, where he approved her request for Crimson and expressed his gratitude for her support of Willow Corinthos. While Michael praised Drew Quartermain for securing Willow a spokesperson role, Nina subtly hinted that Drew should shift his focus to his political campaign rather than the New Tomorrow Institute. Meanwhile, Drew encountered an uncomfortable situation when he and Willow ended up stuck together in the Metro Court elevator. As they waited for the elevator to be repaired, Drew removed his jacket, which only heightened Willow's discomfort. Drew discussed a potential fundraising trip to Los Angeles, complete with promises of a magical villa in Malibu. However, Willow hastily declined, citing family obligations. Sensing her hesitation, Drew suspected that he might be the reason she was avoiding the trip and offered to cancel it. When the elevator doors finally opened, Nina noticed the tension between them and after seeing a rattled Willow rush off, she urged Drew to step back to avoid causing further turmoil in Willow's life. Nina's day didn't end there. Drew received a complaint call from Congressman Larry McConkie, prompting Nina to suggest they discuss a solution over dinner at her place, raising suspicions about her intentions. Elsewhere, Christina Corinthos Davis was consumed by anger and revenge. She confronted her father, Sonny Corinthos, demanding that he make Ava Jerome pay for everything she had done. Christina was convinced that Ava had caused too much pain and insisted that she wouldn't find peace until Ava was no longer breathing. Despite Sonny's warnings that revenge wouldn't ease her pain, Christina remained adamant. She even persuaded Sonny to show her photos of Ava laying hands on her, further fueling her rage. The tension escalated when Alexis Davis overheard Sonny promising Christina that he would take care of Ava. Fearing the worst, Alexis pulled Sonny aside for a private confrontation, warning him that if he took fatal action, it would leave an irreversible scar on Christina's soul. Although Sonny assured Alexis that Ava was his problem to handle the situation remained precarious. Meanwhile, Michael visited Christina to express his sorrow over her baby news. Christina, still in a vengeful mindset, pressured Michael to send her the incriminating photos of Ava, which he reluctantly did. Christina, overcome with grief, stared at the photo of her baby bump, mourning the loss of her child. She regretted confronting Ava, but Michael urged her not to dwell on the past. He later asked Willow if she could talk to Christina, given her own experience with losing a child. In another corner of Port Charles, Heather Weber was in a somber mood. She had a disheartening conversation with Elizabeth Baldwin, who later informed Laura Collins about Heather's despondency. Laura tried to lift Heather's spirits by showing her pictures of Ace Cassidine and promised not to reopen any legal discussions. However, it became clear that Heather was entertaining Scott Baldwin's idea of seeking freedom and holding the company responsible for her faulty hip replacement accountable. Later, Heather asked Elizabeth to contact Scott and relay the message that Heather's in, signaling that she was ready to take action. As the drama in Port Charles continues to unfold, it's clear that Christina's thirst for revenge, Nina's growing suspicions, and Heather's new plans will stir up even more trouble in the days to come. General Hospital promises more shocking twists as these storylines Lines reach new heights. On the General Hospital episode airing Monday, August 12th, tensions will run high as multiple characters face emotional turmoil and life-altering decisions. T.J. Ashford is on edge as he reaches his breaking point with Molly Lansing Davis. Molly has been distancing herself, especially when it comes to addressing the loss of their baby. Her repeated avoidance of any discussions related to saying goodbye becomes too much for TJ to handle, leading to a heated confrontation. TJ, overwhelmed by grief and frustration, lashes out at Molly, unable to understand why she keeps pushing him
him away during such a critical time. Meanwhile, Maxie Jones is surprised to learn about an unexpected dinner plan between Nina Reeves and Drew Quartermain. Curious and perhaps a bit suspicious, Maxie decides to dig deeper, quizzing Nina on what prompted this sudden dinner arrangement. At the hospital, Willow Corinthos is grappling with her own grief but feels compelled to support Christina Corinthos Davis in her time of need. Willow, who has experienced the pain of losing a child herself, believes she can offer Christina some solace. While she knows she can't heal Christina's heartbreak, she hopes to at least make her feel less isolated in her struggles. However, Christina's heartbreak is far from over, especially as Blaze, also known as Allison Alley Rogers, receives an incredible career opportunity. Brooklyn Quartermain encourages Blaze to seize the chance, but this leaves Christina in a difficult position. Natalia Ramirez, Blaze's mother, makes a tearful plea to Christina, asking her to let Blaze go. Natalia worries that if Christina doesn't end things, Blaze will feel obligated to stay, potentially sacrificing her career for their relationship. It's a moment of truth for Christina, who must decide whether to hold on or let Blaze pursue her dreams. As Willow faces her own challenges, she's also on the brink of a significant decision. Whether it's deciding to accompany Drew on a fundraising trip to Los Angeles or confessing something she's been holding back, Willow's choice will set the stage for future complications. She might even consider coming clean to Michael about a kiss, though she could ultimately back out, unable to reveal the truth. Elsewhere, Anna Devane is in for a surprise when she discovers that Jack Brennan is back in town. Anna isn't thrilled by his return and quickly ruins his evening, relishing in being the one to spoil his plans. However, Brennan manages to find a moment alone with Carly Spencer, leading to an unexpected and intense interaction. Brennan drops hints that suggest he's responsible for making the FBI's evidence against Carly disappear, leaving her both stunned and grateful. The chemistry between Carly and Brennan sizzles, with Brennan flirting and implying that their connection is something worth savoring. As the drama unfolds, Carly finds herself indebted to Brennan, setting the stage for potential future complications. General Hospital spoilers hint that the events of this episode will have lasting impacts, leading to more explosive twists and turns in the days to come. In the aftermath of a heartbreaking confrontation with Ava Jerome, Christina Corinthos Davis is spiraling into a storm of grief and vengeance following the tragic loss of her baby. The altercation, which escalated beyond control, has left Christina not only devastated but also consumed by fury driving her to demand justice by any means necessary. Ava, who's already entangled in a web of complications after providing a false account to the PCPD, is now facing severe charges, including manslaughter, due to the baby's demise. Despite her denials, photographic evidence in Anna Devane's possession contradicts Ava's claims, showing she did, in fact, lay hands on Christina. But legal consequences may not be enough to satisfy Christina. Christina's thirst for retribution. She's pushing her father, Sonny Corinthos, to take matters into his own hands and ensure Ava pays the ultimate price. This desperate call for vengeance reveals a significant shift in Christina's character, one that actress Kate Mancy suggests marks the end of the Christina viewers once knew. In a recent interview, Mancy discussed how this tragedy has profoundly altered Christina, stripping away her innocence and leading her down a dark path. Path. There's a loss of innocence and a fall from grace, Mancy shared, hinting that the version of Christina we see now may be a permanent transformation. The pain of losing her child has driven Christina to seek solace in revenge, pushing her to act in ways that feel out of character and signaling a potential permanent change in who she is. While Christina is determined to make Ava suffer, it's unclear if Ava is entirely to blame for the chain of events that led to the accident. 
The situation escalated quickly, resulting in Christina's fall due to a freak accident rather than intentional harm on Ava's part. Nonetheless, Christina is set on ensuring Ava faces the harshest consequences possible, whether through the legal system or Sonny's brand of justice. Meanwhile, Ava finds herself in an increasingly precarious position, not just because of Christina's quest for retribution, but also due to other mounting legal issues, including the fallout from the placebo chaos. As she scrambles to protect herself, she may even attempt to shift the blame onto John Jagger Cates to save her own skin. As the situation intensifies, General Hospital spoilers hint that Scott Baldwin will have his work cut out for him in defending Ava against the looming storm of legal and personal challenges. The drama is far from over, and with Christina's dark transformation and Ava's desperate maneuvers, the stakes are higher than ever. Stay tuned as these explosive developments continue to unfold, and the lines between justice and revenge blur beyond recognition. In a surprising turn of events, Kirsten Storms, known for her role as Maxie Jones on General Hospital, recently experienced a kitchen mishap that left her less than and glamorous and more than a little flustered. Storms took to Instagram to share the hilarious and messy details of her coffee canister explosion, giving her followers a glimpse of the chaos that ensued. Storms began her post with a light-hearted tone, acknowledging the incident as a funny story despite its rather unpleasant outcome. She detailed how her usually reliable coffee routine took a disastrous turn when the canister of illy coffee she was opening didn't cooperate. I've opened opened several canisters of Illy coffee tins and never have the grounds exploded out of that cute metal container, Storms wrote, clearly exasperated. There is a first time for everything. The actress humorously admitted she'd much prefer her coffee brewed in hot water or over ice rather than having it splattered all over her face. A sentiment echoed in the photo she posted, where she sports a frown and a face covered in coffee grounds. Storms took full responsibility for the mishap, noting that the canister's lid did include a warning about the potential for such an incident. It seems that despite the multilingual cautionary note, the explosion still took her by surprise. In the comments, Finola Hughes, who plays Anna Devane on the show, confirmed Confessed she was initially baffled by the photo. Hughes revealed she mistook the mess for a fake black eye, wondering, I thought it was a GH storyline. I'm thinking who would dare to give Maxie a black eye. Given the appearance of the coffee grounds, Hughes' reaction was understandable and provided a bit of amusement for fans who enjoyed the accidental mix-up. One follower even joked about the culprit being Corinthos coffee, which led to more laughter among fans and further underscored the playful nature of Storm's post. As for Maxie Jones, while her off-screen coffee disaster provided a moment of levity, her on-screen life remains filled with drama. According to General Hospital spoilers, Maxie will continue her efforts to support Cody Bell and Max Scorpio as they navigate their own challenges. Fans can look forward to some positive updates as Mac and Cody work towards resolving their issues. Stay tuned for more updates and predictions on Maxie's journey as well as additional behind-the-scenes glimpses from the General Hospital cast. On Thursday, August 8th, General Hospital unfolded a series of dramatic and heart-wrenching events that had fans on the edge of their seats. The day began with Christina Corinthos Davis awakening from a heart-wrenching dream where she was holding her perfect baby girl, only to be jolted back to the painful reality of her loss. Felicia Scorpio made a compassionate visit, offering Christina access to the hospital's counseling services. Amid her grief, Christina broke down in tears to her sister, Alexis Davis, expressing the depth of her sorrow over the loss of her baby. Meanwhile, Heather Weber, accompanied by a guard, tried to make amends with Trina Robinson. However, Portia Robinson and intervened forcefully, preventing Heather from reaching Trina. Afterward, Scott Baldwin took a stand against the guard, threatening legal action, until he was allowed into Heather's hospital room. Scott proposed representing Heather in a lawsuit against the manufacturer of her defective hip replacement, offering her the chance to win a significant settlement 
and spend time with her son, Ace Cassidine. Despite Portia's protective stance, Trina decided to face Heather on her own terms. Heather sincerely apologized for the distress she had caused, and though Trina was unable to forgive Heather or Esme Prince, she left the room emotionally moved hoping Heather would change her ways. In another corner of the hospital, Carly Spencer and Sonny Corinthos had a serious conversation with their daughter, Donna Corinthos, about the dangers of taking medication without supervision. Donna, however, was more excited about the popsicles awaiting her than concerned about the lecture. Later, Sonny received incriminating photos from Jason Morgan showing Ava Jerome confronting Christina. Sonny, already suspicious that Ava might be behind his medication swap urged Jason to confront her. Alexis, upon learning about the photos, was infuriated and rejected Scott's request for assistance in defending Heather. Meanwhile, Sonny, determined to make Ava pay for her actions, expressed his regret for waking Christina who urged him to ensure Ava faced justice. At the PCPD, Anna Devane confronted Agent John Jagger Cates about his connection to Ava. John, deflecting Anna's inquiries about his personal life, was warned against crossing paths with Sonny. Despite Anna's warnings, John remained undeterred. In lockup, Ava vehemently insisted to John that Christina's fall was an accident. She admitted to hiding John's bag, which had contributed to Christina's trip but now faced mounting scrutiny as the cops discovered it. Ava, feeling the heat from Kevin Collins, who was investigating Sonny's placebo issue, urged John to convince the pharmacist to go on the run. John, taking drastic measures, showed up at the pharmacist's office, flashing his badge and demanding Clement accompany him. Meanwhile, Jason's visit to Ava in jail was fraught with tension as he accused her of switching Sonny's medications, a scheme he believed was part of a larger plot. Ava, on the defensive, insisted someone else was responsible for the medication swap. Although she remained tight-lipped about the culprit, fearing for her safety, Carly, seeking justice, invited Anna over to discuss Donna's situation and the ongoing investigation into Sonny's medication. While Carly was adamant about charging Ava, Anna expressed doubts about the difficulty of proving Ava's guilt and voiced concerns about the risks to Ava's life. As the day ended, Ava remained in peril, with her fate hanging in the balance. General Hospital fans should brace themselves for more twists and turns as Ava's dangerous predicament unfolds. Stay tuned for further updates on the intense drama and shocking developments ahead. Join the conversation below and make your voice heard. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest developments and visit our channel daily for the most recent soap updates, news, and spoilers. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. See you in our exciting next video.